So BitLocker, how many people do full disk encryption? Wow, expected more, come on. So full disk encryption, what happens if you lose your laptop with company data? Anyone plugs it in and well, first of all, you shouldn't have any company data to begin with, but you hear all the time, you know, two million social security numbers found on a stolen laptop. If you use full disk encryption, no one will be able to get into the hard drive. This was introduced in Vista. However, you had to encrypt a partition. You had to have two partitions in the hard drive. One was like the, the first one that booted. On Windows 7, it will encrypt the entire system volume, and this includes the page files and the hibernation files. So if you do lose your laptop and it's fully disk encrypted, no one will be able to get it. And I mean no one. Does it support third-party two-factor authentication uh, plugins, such as like an Aladdin token or? Uh, no. And actually, let me get to that. There's, like I said, no need for partitioning and whole disk encryption. It does need a trusted platform management chip, which unfortunately not that many uh, machines come with. And your question, mm -hmm. recovery key. All BitLocker deployments require a copy of a recovery password to be out of the box. As soon as you install Windows 7, if you encrypt your hard drive, you need to re store that recovery key, so you don't want to just give your users this and have them store their, their key. Then they get fired. Hey, what's your password? I forgot. There goes all their data. It's happened. Uh, so this probably isn't the best idea. This is what the setup screen looks like. Um, basically, you could print the recovery key. Probably not the best idea. Or save it to a file. Maybe another encrypted device. So, like I said, there are some issues with this. They require a PIN number or USB. So, for example, if you're doing full disk encryption in your data center for your hard drives, you don't have a very secure data center, which does happen, not a terror mark. But if you, do have, if you don't have a secure, oper uh, secure data center, you might do full disk encryption, but then you shut down your server, you boot it back up, someone has to physically be there to type this key in or use a USB key. Um, also, BitLocker is not a replacement for uh, encrypted file systems. Once you unencrypt the machine on boot, that does not stop anyone else from logging into your, your machine and seeing what shared files you have and all that. that this is just for full disk encryption. Uh, this is solved by uh, using encrypted file system. So some issues, like I said, it requires a trusted platform module on your laptop. So as you buy new laptops, just make sure that it includes this. Usually you don't see this at the spec at Best Buy, but hopefully little by little they'll all be moving there. In a corporate environment, any Windows 2003 Service Pack 1 or above uh, domain controller has group policies for this. So you can actually require encryption on the drives and store the password for whatever user is under their username in AD. And that is good in case they leave or whatnot, you'll be able to restore it. However, if you delete the user or disable the user, you won't be able to, to retrieve the key, which is a little overlooked by Microsoft, but slowly we're moving to, uh, to better stuff. Uh, was, is BitLocker available also on professional or is it just enterprise ultimate? Um, it's ultimate and enterprise. Okay. It's not available for uh, pro or for home. And because I imagine Pro is probably the version, isn't it the version most clients in a in, in a small yeah. in a small business they use Pro. That is correct. However, if you still if you don't have to use BitLocker, there is True Crypt, which is free if you're using a small business and whatnot. <coughs> or there are other solutions that do full disk encryption. PGP is a big one. Definitely something you should do. Like you lose a laptop, they're gonna get the data on it. Everyone should be doing fine with full disk encryption. It's best practice. So what's the recommended procedure when you terminate an employee and they have BitLocker turned on? You disable the account? Disable the account without the deleting password, it. password, then somebody else can log in and you yeah. re-enable it. Yep. And you have the key to... Uh, to or before it. disabling, pull the key out of the AD. But you can disable the user and then enable it, you know. Disable the user when you get their laptop back. Enable the user, recover it, then disable the user again. But yes, as soon as you fire someone, you should definitely disable their account, straight off the bat. So BitLocker to go is for USB, uh, USB and removable storage. How many people encrypt their flash drives? 
I don't use flash drives. Okay. <laughs> no one encrypts the flash drives are the easiest thing to lose. How many people have lost flash drives? If you had full disk encryption, hopefully your data would be saved. So this encrypts removable uh, storage. A uh, survey shows that 40% of workers lose USB sticks. So um, definitely if your corporation allows or your business allows removable media, should be encrypted. You can do this through group policy as well. So you can force them? To force you can encryption. force any USB, any removable media that's plugged in must use uh, BitLocker or BitLocker to go, okay. which is pretty good. Recent story this week, uh, over in UK, local authority IT systems got the conflict or deworm because someone brought in a USB key. Mm -hmm. They used encryption. They probably wouldn't be able to unencrypt at home because, oh, quick thing. Any links that I put up, I have bit.ly, there's a URL shortening service. If you guys want to check out any of the articles, they're in order, so the first one is this one, the second one is this one. Basically, it's a URL shortener. You type it in and it takes you to a full URL. So that's helpful in case you want to go back and check my references. So some issues with BitLocker to go. It doesn't work with other operating systems. So I encrypted this 4 gig USB flash drive, my Windows 7 machine, and then I plugged it into my Mac and I couldn't read anything. Fail. On Vista and XP, you can, un you can open it, but it doesn't encrypt back. So it only works on Windows 7. To write, and, to write and to read, it only works on Windows 7. To read, you can use Vista and XP. Another fail. And it's password-based. I don't know, maybe some way of attacking the recovery file, or some way of brute forcing it. Hasn't, it's too new, so no one's actually brought these up yet, but sooner or later, 